Hey guys, so I wanted to make this little video just to share my excitement. So, the Easy DIY posted a video maybe, you know, four days ago, I think. Maybe even a bit more, I'm just a little. But, um, and she took crayons and hot glued them to canvas and then took a heat gun and melted them. And she had it in a heart shape. And I was like, that is so cool. I want to do that. But I have, like, brand new crayons. Because I color. And so I have, like, this fancy crayon tower. And I didn't want to use my crayons. Because I use them. <laughs> so I posted a status on Facebook. And I was like, hey, does anybody have a bunch of broken crayons I can have? Or old crayons or whatever? And Kat's mom, um commented is like, yeah, tons, and she says tons, and I'm like, oh, it's probably not that much. Well, she got, gave me this paper bag full. <laughs> I mean, it was full up to about here. You know, and this is a decent sized paper bag. You know, compared to my head. It's pretty decent sized. <laughs> You know, and it's, it's pretty wide, too. <laughs> so, I mean, I got quite a bit of crayons. And I made this first piece of art. Which I was really excited about. And granted, it took a lot of time to peel all these crayons. And it was really painstaking because the wrapper kept stabbing me under my, na under my nail on my thumb. And it ended up bleeding. So, and then my thumb was, like, really sore for quite a few days afterward. So, today I was like, you know what, I'm going to start peeling these. And I was using a nail file to, like, pick it out and pick up the wrappers. I was using this to pick up the wrappers because it's, um, kind of has a little U in it. And it was going okay, but it was still really slow and took forever. I have the hiccup now. So I was like, you know what, there has to be another way. So, as I was advised to do, I took some water, put it in a bowl, and threw the crayons in. So there's my bowl of crayons. It doesn't look like there's water in it, but there is. If you can see that, there's water, like the crayons floating. And I want to show you what this does. Let me find ones that are ready to peel to do this one. And this one. One's not a Crayola brand. And one is. Hopefully that Crayola one is. And let me just show you what what happens when you put Crayolas in water. This is this is a um just like off brand crayon. And the wrapper just like <laughs> I almost dropped it because the wrapper just dropped off of this. <laughs> The wrapper just like completely just dropped right off. You know, that's kind of normal. Most most off brand crayons aren't too great of quality, but this is a Crayola brand crayon. This is white. This is a white Crayola crayon. And I'm gonna find the edge. Here's the edge of the wrapper. This is the crayon just like yeah, <laughs> you can see the water droplets spreading from that. And now my crayon's all wet, but there we go. There's the white crayon. Completely naked now. And so, I'm like all crazy excited because now I have a way to peel all these crayons. So now they're all sitting in the bowl soaking so that I can start peeling them all and shelling them. But... That's so exciting! I'm excited because now I can peel all those and get them done. Um, this one hair, my hairdresser cut up my hair so that it would it would run from my bangs right down into my hair. Except for that one piece just doesn't like staying back here. It's supposed to be like right here. Except it always falls into my bangs. Alright, back on topic. So I'm all excited now that I have a way to peel those. And so 
once I get these all, most of them all peeled, I'm going to film a quick tutorial. And once my canvas is all the way dry, I painted one of my canvases. Once that's all dry, I'm going to film a tutorial and show you kind of how to do it and the easy way to do it. Because shelling those crayons is so hard. And, um, yeah, that what I did was so much easier. So, yay! I'm excited. So, um... Yeah, I'm gonna go shell my my crayons and watch them glee. I, I ha it's it's it's, um, see, it's Wednesday at ten o'clock at night, and I've yet to watch Glee from this Tuesday. So I'm gonna drag my bowl over that way. That way, that's where the TV is. Is over there, and I'm gonna watch some Glee and shell some crayons. Cause that sounds like a perfect night to me. <laughs> Bye.